said, if you don't propose to me, you can say goodbye to me and you can say goodbye to the dog because I am done waiting around. <laughs> and when was this in your relationship? Early. Mm. Too early. I just loved him. As soon as I met him, I loved him. And I couldn't believe that he wasn't desperate to lock it down. I'm a Leo too, though. <laughs> I was like, what do you have to think about? But after the sort of one and a half year mark, I was like, I'm not going to waste any more of my time mm. here because I'd rather be single. Mm. I would rather be single. And I love being single, for the record. I didn't want to give an ultimatum, but unfortunately, he's Mr. Chill. <laughs> and he wanted to get married to me too. But I think he it just would have taken him like 100 years. He's slow. I don't want to spend that time. I'm already sure of what's going on here. I wanted to get married before I had kids. I said that to him and he did it. And congratulations to him. Mm. He's getting to marry me and I'm getting to marry him all because I pushed it along. Ultimatums are a real thing. And I don't think we're talking about this enough because I think all of us want that. Oh my God, I just really wasn't expecting this. Oh my, can you believe this? This just came totally out of the blue. I'm here to tell you 85, if not higher percentage of proposals are because of ultimatums. That's my hot take. I think we should be normalizing ultimatums because it's actually damaging to see all these surprised engagements um, because they're not real. They're not real. I lit every, literally every single person I know has given their partner an ultimatum. Yet we're trying to like pretend we're not giving ultimatums. I feel like ultimatums are the most inconsiderate things in the world and in relationships. Because an ultimatum essentially puts the other person on the receiving end between a rock and a hard place. You either do what I'm telling you I want from you, or I'm going to leave this relationship. And obviously, your partner might not want to leave that relationship, but they also might not be capable or might not be ready to do the things that you're asking from them. And because they're not doing it within a timely manner for you, now you feel like they don't love you, they don't care for you because they're not listening to you because if they wanted to, they would. If they loved you enough, they would just do it. And I feel like an ultimatum takes away from the other person's perspective and how they feel and what's on their mind and when they want things done. Reality of it is, I feel like you should discuss expectations at the beginning of the relationship. So instead of waiting a year and a half into the relationship and realizing that you're not married or you're not on track to be married when you feel like you want to be married, you should discuss that at the beginning of the relationship. So that way you and your partner know, okay, my expectation is I'm expected or I'm wanting to be married within two years into the relationship and I'm wanting to have kids within four years into the relationship and see if your partner's on the same page. Because in that moment, at the beginning of the relationship is where you two are able to acknowledge that you two are on the same track as far as your wants and your needs and future goals, or because they're too different, you two aren't compatible and you two should find other people to be with. But when you wait a year and a half into the relationship and all of a sudden realize, oh, I wanna be married, so I need to give my partner an ultimatum because they're gonna wait 101 years to do what I want them to do, that feels icky to me. The ultimatum as far as you marry me when I ask you to or I'm going to leave almost feels forced. And anytime you force anybody to do something they're not ready to do or they don't want to do in that moment, how does those situations usually turn out? That's where my mind goes. I'm not saying she won't have a successful marriage. I'm not saying she won't have a successful relationship. I just feel like there's so many things that could have happened differently to where it might have been more comfortable on both individuals' ends. But that's just my personal opinion. I said, if you don't propose to me, you can say goodbye to me and you can say. At what point of your life do you need to be to throw an ultimatum at your partner? Everyone places different meaning when it comes to marriage, and that can be related to cultural factors, personal factors, family, and stuff like that. But the fact that he proposes and you guys get married does not guarantee that your relationship will actually last. Did you know that divorce rates are higher than 50%? They're actually significantly higher than 50%. So does marriage actually guarantee that your relationship will last? No. And throwing an ultimatum at your partner and saying, if you don't marry me, then this is it, we're breaking up, is it just screams insecurity. It's like insecurity is tattooed on the forehead. Because if you're not secure in your relationship right now, you're not gonna be secure when you're married. There will be another reason for an insecurity, whether he's hanging out with his boys, whether he looks at another girl's Instagram, whatever it is, 
it's gonna manifest itself in different ways because the issue here is not the marriage the issue here is the insecurity there's a lot of emphasis on marriage in this culture and society which is again it's understandable it's everywhere it's in the media it's in the movies it's everywhere but statistically speaking marriage is not the institution that actually works and succeeds i'm not saying that your personal marriage will fail based on the statistics maybe you will succeed and i'm really happy for you i have examples in my life of people whose marriage has succeeded for years and years and years and i also have people in my life who got divorced right after getting married pretty much giving your partner an ultimatum like that puts you in a very weak position of desperation and i feel like in this case it goes deeper than just marriage itself there are as many opinions as there are people in the world, and this is just mine. Love and peace. I believe in giving them an ultimatum or a deadline for a marriage proposal. No. I believe with a two-year rule. It should be around two, two and a half years for a man to date you and propose to you. When you start dating a man, you should communicate to him that you anticipate to be proposed to within two to two and a half years of dating. That is the first and last time you ever utter a word about getting married. You don't provide ultimatums, you don't remind him, you don't ask for it. If he wants to, he'll do it. I gave him the ultimatum and I told him that if he didn't propose to me by December 31st at 11.59 that I was going to leave because I feel like I do all the wifey duties with no ring or no sign of commitment. We have two kids and I literally do everything and after all of these years, I feel like he knows, he should know already if he wants to marry me or not. First off. If you're going to tell me you have by this date to marry you, you can leave. Because I am not going to marry you when you tell me to marry you. I'm not running on your time to propose to you. And I'm going to wait. And what's going to happen? You're if you, not going to propose. If you leave, then you weren't meant for me. He doesn't need ultimatums. He doesn't need empty threats. None of that. We all know today is December 31st. You're not going anywhere. January 1st, y'all still going to be together. He, he's calling your bluff. That's why you never give ultimatums because you know you're not really going to leave this man. Not one, but two kids together. Y'all been together for nine years. You got a house together. All of this. The reason why he's not going to marry you is because he doesn't have to. You've given him everything. Like you said, I do all the wifely duties. You're cooking, you're cleaning, you're doing all these things. There is no incentive. This is what happens when you give boyfriends the wife package. They don't feel like they have to upgrade. Now, I will give him a little bit of grace, both of you, because y'all got together when you were 13 years old, had your first child at 15 years old. Like you guys, you were really young and you're still really young. You're about to be 22. But I feel like there's a part of him that might feel like there's something else out there he hasn't dated enough women to know what he really wants i feel like he thinks he has plenty of time because y'all are still young but that's the difference between sometimes men and women a woman can meet them the love of her life in kindergarten and be all about that man all her life but for men especially these days with everything available on social media how easy it is to meet women and see women some men feel like they have time because they've never had more options and no matter how amazing you are to that man some of them are still on the lookout for that bigger, better deal. If you ever give a man an ultimatum, you better be prepared to back it up. I was afraid to get married. But that to be said, would you give the advice to somebody to pressure someone else? Absolutely not. There's no reason for someone to, to have to be pressured into marriage. You can use other terms. This is my partner. This is my life partner. Uh, I'm like pressure. Get into it. Do it. There's so much pressure on women from society that they get. Men don't get that pressure from media. We don't get that pressure from friends. It only makes sense to me why they pressure the man. The man is out there with the boys. They're like, don't get married. It just makes sense why the man is always pumping the brakes on the marriage because their messaging is completely different than what women get. It's a total picture, right? It, it's how much, you know, what goes into making you feel like a complete being. And if you're not there yet, it's one of the number one stressors on a relationship is the financial. I said, if you don't propose to me, you can say goodbye to me. If you've been together with your partner for a really long time and they haven't proposed to you yet, should you give them an ultimatum? I'm Dr. Rachel Vanderbilt and I'm an expert in communication in romantic relationships. And the short answer is probably not, but maybe. So first, if you've never had a conversation with your partner about marriage, you should take that step first. Don't assume that just because you've been together a certain period of time that your partner knows that you want to get engaged. Firmly, I would start with being very direct and explicit with your partner about what you want and how ready you are for that step. 
But let's say you have had that conversation and you're someone who's like dropping hints left and right and your partner just doesn't seem interested. You should only give them an ultimatum if you really mean it. If you're not going to break up with them without a proposal, then don't give them an ultimatum. Now, if it were me, I would go with a very frank discussion with your partner about the fact that you're ready for marriage. Let them know that if they're not at the same place that you are and they don't appear to be getting to that place anytime soon, that's problematic for you. Maybe you're not as compatible as you'd like to be at this point in your life. You never want to force someone to engage in a behavior that they're simply not ready for. There's definitely not a problem with approaching your partner and giving them that firm nudge to say, listen, like, if you want to be married to me, this is the time to consider that. I want to be with you and I want to be with someone who wants to marry me. Why would I listen to you? It's about to make Pretty much she gave her boyfriend an ultimatum between marrying her or exiting her life. So there's a lot of debate whether it's healthy or not to give a guy an ultimatum. I think to avoid ultimatums, make your expectations clear from the very beginning. Now this is for my girlies who want to be married. If you're dating with the attentions that you're just having fun and you don't want to be married, this isn't for you. Girlies that do, from the moment you go on that first date, he should know that you are looking to be married. You are dating to be married. I would recommend no more than two years. Let him know. Hey, you know, the goal in life is to be married and I wouldn't really date anyone past two years. Intentions. These are my intentions. Don't feel bad about stating your intentions. Like, men have no problem stating their intentions, as we know. They will let you know real quick what they want to do with you. This is a really good way to weed out, like, who's serious or not. Like, is he dating you for the right reasons? Like, is he dating you just for a good time? Or does he actually want also to have a serious relationship and have a wife one day like it'll eat them out quick now y'all need to be strategic about when you say this you can't just randomly just say it like you guys have to like warm up to the conversation about talking about goals or future plans like you know you guys have to be mindful on when to transition into saying something like this a lot of girls are gonna say oh you know he doesn't know me i don't know him i don't want to scare him away but like the right guy is going to be on the same wavelength thinking as you like y'all are gonna be on the same page but don't let him leave that date without that on his mind. Like this girl is not wasting no time. Because no, I'm not. Your youth is everything, ladies. That's why you hear about stories about men that have been with girls for like seven, 10 plus years, and they never married them, and then they get with the next girl and they marry her in three months. Men know almost immediately if they're gonna marry you or not. Like it does not take long. So if he's been with you over two years, nine times out of 10, he doesn't wanna marry you. I just can't stress how important it is not to have men waste your time. Like. I be watching these girls in these seven, five year relationships, just like, but how, where, never me. It is silly to date someone for that long, but that's just me. I value marriage. If you don't care, if you feel like you get the benefits of being married without being married, then whatever. So that's my advice to y'all. Most important advice you could take if you want that ring. Welcome. It's actually more detrimental to you than the other person when you give an ultimatum in a relationship. Let's talk about it. Hey, Boo Thanks. So I want to talk about something today that is actually a little bit opposite than what I've actually heard other therapists, other counselors, other life coaches say. And it's talking about giving ultimatums in a relationship. So what is an ultimatum? An ultimatum is an if or then. Like if you continue to do this or if you don't do this, then I will do this. Well, here's the danger in that caveat. Two things. One, when you tell a person that you have one more time to violate a boundary of nine, then you have already given them the power. What you are telling them is that I have already accepted the violation of my boundaries for so long that now I'm going to give you one more chance to F up before I actually make a decision to leave or make a decision to, to, to set a harder boundary or put something here. So now this is when you give an ultimatum, it's typically because you have had the same conversation, the same scenario, the same situation over and over again. And now you feel like I have to give an ultimatum in order to get this person to stop something or to start something. But listen to that. 
Listen to the danger in that. I have already been accepting this. So if I've already been accepting this, I've already given this person my power. So now I am telling them, you got one more chance to go ahead and violate me again before I let you go, before I walk away, before I set a standard and actually live up to that standard. So that's the danger of setting an ultimatum is that you are telling this person, I am giving you another, yet again, another chance to mess up or another chance to violate my boundary in that area. The second reason that you don't want to give an ultimatum or that it's um, more dangerous to give an ultimatum is that what happened? Are you really prepared to follow through with it? What happens many times is that we give an ultimatum and we say, if you do this or if you don't stop doing that, then I am going to leave and this relationship is over. But what ends up happening? Majority of the time we don't leave. Majority of the time, relationship is not over. Majority of the time, and it's another argument, it's another fight, but yet we still stay. So we're not actually prepared to to suffer actually the consequences of our own ultimatum, right? So I want to, I just want to give you this tips. I'm giving you this um, insight and you get to make your own decision in this area. I'm not giving you advice on the decision to make. I'm simply saying, think about it from the perspective of if this is something that has violated your boundaries for so long, why are you giving them another chance to violate it? And if you do decide to give an ultimatum, or are you actually prepared to follow through with it? Because if you do not follow through with it, then at this point, you are now once again opening up the door for this person to violate your boundaries and letting them know that what you say, that you're actually not going to live up to it. Hope this helps. Follow for more. I'd love to hear your comments below. Let's talk about it. I used to be one of those women that would give men an ultimatum or threaten to leave him if they didn't treat me right. Not anymore. Let me tell you why. First and foremost, an ultimatum is a form of manipulation. And secondly, threatening someone is just forcing them to do something that they really don't want to do. Do you really want to be with someone that you had to manipulate to be with you? Do you really want to be with someone that you had to threaten to be with you? No, that's not authentic love. You go with the person that chooses you not the person that you had to force to be with you. This is a great question because there is a difference between ultimatums and sharing non-negotiables. Ultimatums, they don't work. They break trust. They make men feel controlled. It backfires on you. But sharing non-negotiables shares with your man a line in the sand of what matters most to you. And you can ask him why marriage matters to him, what scares him, and it can be a dialogue. Men want to be a part of problem solving. They want to be able to have a dialogue. When you do that, you build trust and you give an opportunity for you guys to actually move forward if marriage is your best next step. And if it isn't for him, it allows you to be able to know with respect that this isn't your best.